You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed? It's silly. I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know, I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. 
And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.
No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Shall I continue? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, Victoria Chase. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. 
Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price. Miss Amber. One of you girls better start telling me what actually happened, now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh... Now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. 
Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. 
I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go.
Finally. What I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. 